the 14th of May and we're just going to do a quick bit of an update of where we've got to on the allotment this week. We've had three afternoons haven't we? Yep. So we're starting over here, sweet peas first. Yeah. Managed to get this frame up this afternoon and these are our spring sown sweet peas that have gone in today. Just a mixture of colours aren't they? Yep. We'll power on hazel pearls. Yep. And then just over the other side, over there, I've put some gladiol eye bulbs in. Sweet Williams and Early Flower in. And in this one, there's some more gladiol eye bulbs and some annual seeds that haven't come up yet. Down by the potatoes, because they're all through. Or most of the potatoes are through, I should say. So we've got our own potatoes. In the bed on the left. Which we planted because we couldn't find the varieties, could we? No. You've earthed them up, haven't you? Yeah. I have, I've done all, all these two beds have been earthed up, yeah. And then there's the parsnip experiment at the bottom. Oh, I think some, I've just seen one of those others coming through. Have you? Yeah, so that's the first row and it's done pretty well. Each seed that we put in, given that we only put one at each station, is through. But we've put four more rows in and... We weren't in compost, we just put them in the soil and we were a bit dubious about whether they were going to come up. I'm a bit dubious about length that the roots were when we put them in as well. I can, I can actually see a few coming up. So we're going to do some more, aren't we? Yeah. There are some in there that are just starting to come up. It's whether so the roots had grown a bit too, too long, long and they'll yeah. not go down. But we couldn't help it because we it's couldn't get, could we? It's just a question of when you can get here, isn't it? Yeah. These potatoes were the first ones in, weren't they? Yeah, along with Casablanca. And they've all the been summer. earthed up. So they're um, Ulster Prince and Sagita. Sagita. <laughs> Edge needs the grass. We can't keep up with it. It's just impossible. Short of just cutting grass, doing nothing else. And then we put some more so, uh, broad beans, beans in, haven't we? So these are in three stages. At this end, the biggest ones are demonica. And I've noticed... There's just some flower buds. They're just beginning to start to produce a few flower buds. So it's demonica. Then a new variety to us in the middle, dreadnought. We haven't tried those before. Which we've planted out today, haven't we? Yes, we've planted out today. Yes, we did. And then at the end... We, uh, the Royal We, I planted them and you sowed the ones at the end, didn't you? Yeah. So we sowed the ones at the end and they're just in The Royal We again. <laughs> but they are masterpiece green long pod. So we'll have to see what happens to those. I think everything now is round the other side, isn't it? I weeded the onions over there. Did you? Yeah. So these onions are coming along quite well, aren't they? And the shallots as well, at yeah. the end. The ones that um, I thought wouldn't grow because they were just about... Well, they'd all started to grow in the packet and the uh, bulb itself was a bit hollow. So well, I didn't think we'd get anything okay. from them, Do but... I? I mean, whether they'll do anything, whether they'll just be leaves, is um, don't know, do we? No, head to the greenhouse next. Okay.
So the greenhouse has sort of been sorted out from its winter storage. What do you mean sort of? It is. Well, it's a bit messy, isn't it? There's pots and all sorts left in here. The tomatoes went in yesterday. So our varieties, we've got uh, Shirley, yeah, Sun Gold, yeah, Bull Neck or something, Buffalo Sun, I think it is, <laughs> isn't it? Right. something like that. Yeah, Buffalo Sun, and then Crimson, Crimson Crush. Crush, and Fandango. Yeah, trying Fandango this year. Look at this. This is what I mean by can't keep up with the grass. The um, fruit bit's got a bit. Carried away, and it, it this bit, year? Yeah. We just haven't We've got been able to keep up with it. I mean, there's these pairs have set. And we've got some nice flowers on the blueberries. This blueberry bush now is my height. Yep. Don't know how I'm going to cover that. isn't that, that high, but... <laughs> And there's still some pears set on this one. It'll be a rarity if we actually see any pears on this one. Del San, isn't it, this yeah. one? Yeah. This, uh, just pop round here. This is the first blueberry that has fruit usually. No, that's the second one. This one usually, oh, it has. It's got some fruits on Martin. Is it? Yeah. And this one's flowering really well this year. So the cold frame was here, or what we call our cold frame area. It got completely overgrown, so we decided to move it and clear this bit. And then Sue came up with an idea of what about having a little path down the middle in the row of raspberries to match this row. So that's what we're going to do. Now our carrots went in this week as well, didn't they? Yeah. So we've got four rows in there. We've got four long rows and then we've got four little short bits at the end. Which are some free seeds we got. Yeah. So we're making an effort to uh, thin these out a bit or sell them a bit thinner, aren't we? Yeah. Bit so these are just going in drills filled with some compost. I can't really see them. Sorry, my shadow. No, I mean, you can't, can you? No. I'll see if I can get a few looking at this. It's in the sun, doesn't it? So these are just a little row, isn't they? Yeah, these are free ones, they're called. Top weight. Yeah, top weight. It says they're extremely reliable and resistant to bolting. It does say Australia's most popular variety, so whether they'll grow here or not, I've got no idea. These potatoes went in later and they're not as far on as the others. I think you had a go at weeding the winter onions and, and garlic. garlic didn't yeah, you? I did. The cold frame has been repositioned there. I just can't make my mind up when to cut this, have a go at pulling some of this garlic. And then you've had a little dabble around these strawberry cuttings, haven't you? The overspill strawberry yeah. bed. 
Which we look as though we're going to have some strawberries on, don't we? I think we are, yeah. Only if we figure out some covering. Don't suppose it'll take much to cover that. And then past. I don't know whether we planted any brassicas this week or not, but they're looking. I think we did. Pretty good the first lot we that did, went in. Yeah, I think so. We did those at the end. We yeah, did some so greyhound cabbages, cabbages yeah. and some calabries. Yeah, so they're looking all right. Looking quite well. I don't know what the calabries were. Matsui or something, I think they were I called. I can't remember. Something like that. It's nearly full, isn't it, now? Yep. And we've also got our early onward peas, and now we've got some pea sticks to uh, stop them uh, falling over. We're just running short of pea sticks, aren't we, because we didn't cut a hazel no, down didn't. this year. No, see how we go. Then we've the weed I transplanted as well. <laughs> oh, you mean that aquilegia? Yeah. So this Aquilegia was growing in the cold frame. So it's been moved into this messy perennial bed. But so it's been a busy few cleared days. cleared a patch for it? it though, yeah. Right, I think that's about it, isn't it? Yeah. So, thanks for watching. Bye. Bye for now. Bye.